We're back with our one and only Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition submission for Maparino 2021. Did I say Age of Empires? Age of Empires 2. Submitted by Lutz Alkalim. My understanding is this person is responsible for making several well-known maps in the Age of Empires 2 community. To be honest, I'm not involved in that community, at least not yet. One day, we'll break into it. <clears throat> But let's give this a shot. The Battle of Grandson, 1476. And as I said before I started recording for YouTube, uh, this this creator has by default won the best Age of Empires 2 map <laughs> for this map arena season. Select campaign, let's go. Into battle. The war between Burgundy and the Swiss Federation has been raging for three years already. Forces of the Duke and his Savoyan allies have been ever encroaching on Confederation territory. The fortress of Grandson, just recently claimed by the Swiss, is under siege. Oh, that's a, is, this, is this a real thing? It's named Grandson? Send him. Under the lead of Wilhelm Herter the Hurtnick, contingents from all cantons gather under one banner to break the encirclement, but will they arrive in time? Oh, it's a, yes, I know this battle. Okay. Who are we playing as? I, want, I guess we'll get the scouting info and all that. Then we get to wait for a while here as the HD models get loaded into memory. Everyone's favorite. It's pronounced a bit like croissant. Grand song. Okay, can, by the way, while we wait, has anyone ever had the loading screen have this man be young face? What's up with that? Is it random? It seemed like 10% of the time, occasionally, this old man is a young man, and the other two are always the same. What's going on with that? Wait, is there like a... a here we go. Standard game. Win this by construct... Wait, this is, it's, this is normal, right? Hints. Pop limit 150, villager limit at 50. That's interesting. Imperial age can be reached after defeating the Savoyan mercenaries. It's not necessary to kill everyone. Disposing of key buildings or officers can already be enough to stop them from actively participating. You'll love to see it. Trading with Geneva might be a lucrative investment once the road has been cleared. Both Geneva and the Republic of Seven Tithings are sympathetic towards the Swiss cause. With a sign of good, they might be persuaded to join the war. How, how much, okay, how much gold do they want? This is the sign of good, all right? Killing mercenaries can give you access to new units and buildings. Sounds cool. The army of the Swiss Confederation U starts with the very starts at the very east. Burgundy can be found in the west. The Savoyan army established camps at the northeast. Savoyan mercenaries are spread all across the landscape in smaller camps patrols on the road. Geneva lies southwest. The Republic of Seven Tithings is located at the very south. Okay. Oh, they moved my camera. Savoyan forces lay siege in the castle of Grandson. Onward, men. We cannot afford to arrive late. Okay, here we go. Yeah. The road to Grandson are teeming with Savoyan mercenaries. Do not allow them to slow your, down your advance. Time is of the utmost essence. Okay, we got a bunch of pikemen. We've got... Wilhelm von Hertneck. Canton Militia. I think those are, I think those are technically pikemen. What are these in the back? Heavy crossbowmen. I guess for now, let's stick to the road. Jay not remember the Gold Axe Clan. Yeah, right. Alright, we gotta go and break the siege. Unless we want to do something with burn here. They are neutral to us. Can we just go in? Okay, they don't want us. They didn't say anything about burn, did they? Nothing about burn. By the way, who are we? We're the we're the Teutons. Are we actually the Teutons? Is the Swiss? Yeah, we got. Yeah, we're we're just we're the Teutons. That's cool. Okay, so our our ground units are pretty pretty strong. Our paladins, our castles, and then apparently Teutonic knights. 
So, what, what's up with the heavy crossbowman? Maybe this is not reflective of what's actually going on with this tech tree, if I have to guess. That's no, probably not real. Okay, so I'm being told we do play as the Swiss, but I'm unclear what the tech tree is because I can't see it. But that's all right. We'll figure it out. I think this... Oh, God. Robber Knight. Get out of there. Dude, do you see this hot micro Jay Bruno's trying to do in AoE? It's a new age of Jay Bruno in Age of Empires 2. Do you understand? Rather bad cavalry and decent archers. Good infantry and decent archers. Okay, I gotcha. I can get behind that. So what if I just right-clicked up here? Which way are we going to take to get there? Down here, it looks like. Get those barricades out of the way, men. It's incredibly rude of them. Did you see the micro? Old Jay Barino would have just kept attacking the barricades and let all of his units die to three crossbowmen behind the barricades. New Jay Barino doesn't use cheats because it removes the challenge of the maps. And we're serious business here. New Jay Barino actually uses his archers to kill the archers behind the barricades. Burgundian so far in the south, that can't... Oh, God. Oh, no. Let's keep it on our hero here. Okay, our hero's okay, but that was... That was... That... That scared me. I'm not giving you any more attention. I understand what you're doing. You're desperate for it. Oh, okay. You may use our village in the south to regroup and reinforce your army. Well, was I supposed to maybe come down here first? Hey, yeah. Got lots of berries. Look at those berries. Where's my TC? I thought we were supposed to get up here, but no. Alright, I guess we're walking back. There's gold up here. Our first target should be the Savoyan mercenaries marauding through the lands. Okay. Objectives have changed. Kill at least three out of the five Savoyan mercenary captains to gain access to the Imperial Age. I think that's these yellow folks. Also, they're guarding gold. Dude, are they going to kill each other, or are they allies? They are going to not kill each other. I think they're just fine. You know what? I didn't even want them anyway. Um, give me a worker, please, and we're going to get another TC. Do I, have enough? I don't have any stone. Never mind. We cannot build a second TC. It's not in the cards for us. Stopping me from booming. Yeah. Boomer just wants to boom. There's gold up there, at least. I don't see any stone. Oh, actually, I do see some stone. Probably want to get that. Well, we can't build a second TC even if we wanted to. Uh, okay. Barracks. Spearman. Militia. Not great. Just got to see what we can actually build. You tried to help the Siege City, but they just surrendered and all got executed. Okay. Well, that sucks for them. I presume that there was no way to change that. Right now, all I can really do is focus on building villagers. We'll go pikemen, I guess. And field cannon. Effective against units. That's interesting. Your cavalry has more hit points and regenerates. I was told that my cavalry is not good with this faction. But that's my special unit. Can I trade with orange at least? 
they don't have a market. They're like going out to do something. It's a neat looking castle. Waiting for villagers, the Jabarino story. I can't even get I can't even get anything but militia. This is I think this is different militia that I'm accustomed to, if I had to guess. Boomer just wants to boom. Famous last words of Goblin Sampers is right. Yeah, we definitely want to go up here first. I don't know if I have enough stuff to kill them. We could try it, though. Let's take the monk out of our group and then get up here. If we can, yeah, if we can do something about this, then we have access to a better food source. Bone saw. That's right. Bone saw. Dude, block him. Block him, Orange. That's how we do what we do. Okay, well, as long as we just keep making villagers while we do this. Do we have enough to kill this? I think so. I think, honestly, the few knights we have should be able to plow through these these swordsmen. Bone saw. Wait, how do we get up here? Do I need to build a transport ship? No, I can't. I think Orange is my ally, so I actually can go through their base now? Maybe? Or do I need to bribe them? So the militia is not like tier one of that line. It's actually like a different unit that's better, is my understanding. The one horse is blocking my path. Alright, we'll have to kill him then. Is there a reason my- yeah, my units like, don't really want to- Dude, those militia actually do seem really good. Wow, okay. I feel like I'm behind at this point, it's not good. Just keep making villagers, keep villagers queued up forever, and... What's- the Swisher going ever more impertinent, drive- Prepare to drive them off their What's the, like, attack, force attack? Because I, I can't, I legitimately can't get through because of this. Attack move is what you search. I mean, that's what I'm. I have attack move, but like, how do I how do I kill this guy? Yeah. Because I wanna I wanna murder that one because he's in my way. But I'll I'll see if maybe they'll go through here instead. Like, but for real though, am I- can I actually not progress because this one unit is in my way? I guess I could destroy the trees here, right? Unless I can go through Orange. 
who didn't let me in earlier, but might be my ally now. Yeah, it looks like, okay, yeah. Well, I tried to do that in the first place and it was closed. All right, just forget it. Also, green is uh, kind enough to, to trade with me, but I don't know where their market is. I would like to trade with them. I feel like I'm, I'm too far behind at this point. The AI is going to pick up and completely roast me. Hey, yeah. Kiro is okay. Does he have to survive? There's nothing here that says he has to survive. Could put these docks to good use. You guys just come on back to base. Womp womp. Okay, cool. We've done it. And they gave us a free house. How nice of them. Skip it a bit about. Okay, and then let's let's rebuild our, our infantry group, and we're going to head back out and try to take out some of these other groups of infantry captains or whatever. Mercenary captains. Okay, why don't you come on back to base? That area is safe. They can't get to it because that one orange guy is, like, perfectly blocking them. You'll love to see it. Okay. <laughs> You've activated my trap card, yeah. The map does seem pretty big, but I think we've already made some decent progress. We have vision on most of it already. We have vision on at least half of it, so I think that's I think we're in good shape on that front. And we could maybe find, like, a choke point where we could just plop a castle, which I feel like a huge amount of... A huge amount of, of AoE 2 is just about castle placement. As long as you plop your castle right where it sh needs to go. Dude, look at Orange! Get him, boys. Also, I can't make any siege weaponry, so we need to focus on killing these mercenary captains. I don't think I have enough units yet, but we will soon. Arbalisters, make some more normal archers. Not great, but not terrible. Get some Flemish militia. I like the heavy crossbowmen. Aren't those are those are those Sicilian, not Swiss? Or maybe if we build our normal crossbowmen, that's what we'll get. I I don't know. And the knights are expensive on gold, and we don't have very much gold to harvest. Though there is some actually further up here, right? Yeah, Alva. Yeah. Let's come on up here and take this. We gotta take what we can get. We're housed. See, I'm hip with the AOE two terms. You say we're housed. You don't say we're supply blocked. We're housed. Should I wall this? Shut the da shut the da shut the da shut the da Shouldn't mock the workers, you know? They're doing their best. 
I like this music, it's so cheery. We're getting there, boys. Let's go ahead and take some of these folks and send them up for this goal. We're going to need this more than anything else. Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Let's, can we pull them back to the castle at least? We've had a pretty consistent theme lately. Where it's like relatively quiet for a while and then suddenly you get hit with like a hundred supply of units. Dude, red is furious. I should have walled. I have some stone. No, no, don't make skirmishers. Just keep making crossbowmen. It's fine. What are these? Savoyan knights. Our normal militia apparently is good against the knights. So you all are on your way up here. God, they're furious. What happened? They're so upset. Make some pikemen too. Give me some trash units, you know? Yeah, I think you're right, how to bat. Ooh! Alright, well that was spicy. Let's get some monks. Heal us up a little bit. We don't need we just need one, let's be honest. Your boy's not gonna be converting anything. Can't really afford too many knights, but I think we should get no, no. Not until we can get that castle upgrade, which I don't think we can realistically use. Uh, let's get up here, if possible, and go for this guy, and then we're going to make new stuff uh, to protect us against these massive attacks. I could make a second castle to kind of secure this road. No, I can't. It's a lot of building restrictions right now. We need to get up to imp age, like, as soon as possible. Go ahead and attack through that. That's fine. You'll figure it out. Orange is still moving out. They're doing a good job. Actually, it looks like I can't even build... Oh, I can build palisade walls. That's something. Also, do we want to try to bribe the people that apparently would help us? But actively are not? Flickman. Flickman, Flickman, Flickman. Flickman? Boover, Boover, Boover. Okay, that guy will figure it out over time. <laughs> Teutonic Knights, I think, are just... You only need a couple. Should be able to plow through this stuff. No Teutonic Knights for your boy, though. Yeah. Just sticking with my militia line. Seems really good. Let's go. Um, this guy's fairly close. Let's go here first, and then we can build more units and reinforce up there soon. And we are just swimming in cash right now. Hey, yeah, yeah. 
Dude, come on. You're better than this. Oh, maybe you're not. Okay, there are towers here too. Just kill the the main guy and then we can just leave, right? Okay, and then bounce out. We'll, re we'll, we'll, we'll meet back up in the middle here. Over here. And then meanwhile, we have to make sure we keep building stuff to protect us against those larger attacks. Resources coming in hot. This is good. So we only have to... We have to kill one more. Um... I'm gonna guess this one at the top is probably gonna be the closest to get to. Maybe? Well, we have to kind of get close to Red's pretty large group. So I don't know about that. I'm gonna start getting some knights, because we can afford it. And we can actually get that castle upgrade for our better, better cavalry, I guess. This closer? I don't think so. That looks like it's like in a base. I think we're gonna want to go for this because it's relatively exposed, which is why we're gonna go there. Okay. All right. Let's take out this incoming red attack. The skirmishers are scary, but if we have some front lines to protect our archers, we're fine. Okay, this is definitely enough. Let's move up here. Or try to, at least. And then let's actually leave the rest of my stuff at home so that we don't get completely roasted by a potential flanking attack. I have no idea if I'm performing even reasonably okay on this map. I think I'm doing okay. It's not great, but it's fine. Let's get the monk out of here because he's slowing us down. You can walk back to base, buddy, and hopefully he doesn't get caught out by some of these incoming red units. This is fine. We got stuff at home to protect us against this. As long as we delay for at least a little bit of time, we can run with the knights at least. Keep them alive. Pikeman's gonna get left behind, but that's fine. That's what he's for. Yeah. Didn't even notice we were getting roasted by this stuff behind us. Our hero's doing okay. I don't know if we have quite enough to kill this guy. Because I, I let a lot of my stuff die when I walked through this town. Mm. Let's try it. Oh, scorpions, though. Oh, they have uh, donjons. I think we're going to have to ignore the donjons and just go for the guy. And then hero lord, just walk back to base, because otherwise you're going to die. Let's see if we can maybe snipe this guy. I think we'll get him. Okay. The mercenaries are no longer a threat. You'll love to see it. And we got some bombard towers. I was told they're no longer a threat, but they are actively killing me. Does that mean that this town is no longer surrendered? Maybe? Okay, sure. Fine. Heroes alive. If we manage to take out two of their three generals, that should severely weaken the coherence of their army. I like that there's other ways that you can approach the map. I think that's great. Now we have access to all sorts of potential upgrades. So that's good. So we're going to go to Imp Age pretty much right away. And let's get up to 150. Okay, I'll figure that out eventually. And we just need to get some siege weaponry and we'll be good to go. Yeah, Orange is pretty active. They're pretty good. They've been very helpful. Like they don't they're clearly they're not winning for us, but they're doing a great job. And I appreciate that. 
Okay, we gotta rebuild our crossbow, and I should get a second. I'd also like to figure out how to get these other allies over to my side here. Would you prefer to showcase a polished campaign map like this or literal hot garbage on a big map with massive waves? Um, you know, it's nice to have some diversity. I like both. Um, so can I get maybe a hint on how to grab these other factions? Because it just says to, like, they just, they're, they're, they're willing to side with us, but like how, but in what way? Like, what do I need to do? I don't want to overpay them, or maybe that's just part of the map to like, I don't know. Maybe let's go and discover them first. I like, again, I like how you could just, if you just discover them, then suddenly they'd consider, oops. Um, resigning. I think that's neat. Hey, uh. Still can't build more castles. Maybe this is like a, a thing in the custom community where like it's recognized that castles effectively break the game. Not break. You know what I mean, though. Create an army of confederation infantry. Yeah, yeah, do that. Whatever that is. I'd like that. And then we'll grab conscription. And then we'll grab old confederacy. And I want to read what that does at least. More HP armor and attack. Yes, that sounds great. And William Herter can respawn. You love to see it. It looked like I would have Cavaliers available, but then as soon as I actually went into... Um, as soon as I went into Imp Age, it disappeared. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, no castles is definitely a thing. Heavy crossbowmen. Heavy crossbowmen, that's what you like to see. I'll grab the... the Enhanced skirmishers, but I don't think that's really what we need. I think this militia line is just really good, and also Red is making normal archers to send at me, so I'm happy to see that. I think we want to go and try and discover Geneva right now. Let's go and discover Geneva to see what if maybe they'll give us some sort of idea of what we need to do to win them over. Yeah, exactly, Alcalan. Recognize that there, it's kind of BS on how you can like abuse walls and such. Yeah. Hey, sir. And as such, they're disabled in certain instances. I think that's a good thing. Or a, it's a it's a smart way to approach it. Where's my army? Let's just follow the trade cart and see if we can figure it out. And then, meanwhile, continue to build an army at home. See you later, Orlippy. That pikeman had a wife, you know. Sorry, I haven't been keeping up with chat as much as I would have liked to. A relic. Um, did I... The monk is still in here? Yeah. Monk man? The seven tithings are no friend of Savoy or the Burgundians. See, I should have come down here earlier. Bring two relics to the monastery of the seven tithings. Well, here's one. We gotta find the other one. Is that a keep? Oh god. Did he put it in there? Yes, okay, so we got one. I think we want to get some trebs so that we can actually start pushing through this stuff. Then? Oh, that's the army! Dude! Get out there! Get up here, I should say. A large attack must have come through here because I... A lot of my army has been roasted. Confederacy infantry. Consider me intrigued. There's more gold down here if we need to send some folks down to grab that. I guess we'll come and claim this for now. 
This is neat. There's a lot of things to find and do. And then to win, we don't have to destroy the bases 100%, which I greatly appreciate. Just gotta wait for maybe one or two trebs. Usually I get a group of three, but... No point in hoardings, because we can only make one castle. No point in making... I mean, do we have halberdiers, though? I think we had halberdiers. I was gonna say, nope, not really a huge point in making those. Just gonna wait till we can get up here and destroy this. Okay, roll on down here. We're gonna start pushing through some of this towards green. Got our siege weaponry. I real I look I quite like these militia. That's why I'm making a bunch of them. I'm mixing in some knights, but we can't even get cavaliers, so I don't think it's that worth it to have many. What are we at? About 36 minutes. We're, we're pushing out there. If we can figure out what to do with green and gain that ally, and then also secure gray, um, that would be nice because then we could. Wait, is this a general? I didn't realize he was up here. We just got to come up and snipe this guy. That's one. So we, we want to secure the two allies, kill this guy. So that's one Savoyan general. And then the last one is probably one of these guys up here. We just have to siege that castle. Our allies coming through there with Trebs, we can absolutely do that. So I think we have a path to victory, but I would like to try to figure out how to secure the extra AI, just because I like to do that. So we've got a little extra time. The map isn't absurdly hard. The enemy had to actually with a lot of stuff, but relatively low tier. So it's threatening, but as long as you're actually building stuff, you're probably going to be fine. Okay, and then let's rally, I guess, over here. Right. We should have enough stuff here. The mercenaries are still hostile to us. I thought that they were going to resign. They did not resign. Keeps are definitely a little scary, so we should just try to avoid those and we can kill them with the trebs. That's why I built them. Let's get a few extra monks. Follow us around and maybe we could try converting stuff, though I'm really not big on conversion. There are three different generals you only need to kill two. Yeah, so I've got eyes on two of them. I've got eyes on this guy and this guy. And in theory, that will win the map, if, is my understanding. Or may, You know what? I'm going to guess we actually have to beat Bur Burgundy at the end, now that I'm thinking about it. Again, I would like to figure out... I feel like these allies will probably help us win here at the end, but I don't know what I need to do to get to find Green's main base, let alone have them join me. Yeah. Yeah. This looks promising. We sympathize with the cause of the coalition, but our city has suffered a lot. Just tell me how much money you want, all right? Let's get this on the road. However, if you could drive mercenaries out of our farms and mines, we would supply you with our, your army with resources. Destroy the mercenary towers in Geneva's farms and mines. I think we did that. There must be more. Maybe some more up here. Okay, let's go look. The only thing with infantry is we're just slow. <laughs> we're just slow. Let's go ahead and move this over here. Again, we can cross this bridge and see what's over on the other side. And then we're looking for another relic, which I have no idea. Hopefully it's not too far away. No, nope, it's not there. Must be up here. Yeah, 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 I see. Okay, they'll figure that out eventually. 
Just gotta destroy that, and then we'll sweep around and destroy the- and kill the generals, which may come close to ending the map. It may not. We probably then have to destroy Burgundy. If you help Green, Grey gets upset. If you help Grey, Green becomes hostile. I don't think so. I think you can- you could get- you could have both. Ahead. We're building a little group down here. Let's move them all up. Got to take out this group of uh, robber knights. Even though I promised the mercenaries would not be a threat, they're still mad at us. All right. This is neat because, again, it's like you, ha you have to have a small mobile force moving around the map completing objectives. You don't need a massive army to break into any of this stuff, but you need to be mobile and doing stuff. I probably could have moved out a lot earlier than I did as well, now that I think about it. Now, this might end this optional, which would get Geneva to give us resources, which we don't really need. I really just want to find another relic. Don't unpack. I didn't mean to do that. I'm such a dummy. <laughs> I hate when I do this. That's the only thing with trebuchets. You just manage them, and then this is what happens. Stop. All right. He's done it. Okay, we want to back all the way out and then go up and around. I would be I would happily take a hint on where the other relic is just to save time, but I'd understand I guess if you don't want to share that. Um just keep making militia. They're so good. And I'm going to take this group and we're going to move up and kill this dummy if we can, which I, I don't think we're going to have a problem with. And then meanwhile, my army is going to come home and help us defend. I'm going to kind of just swap these two groups. We're going to heal up our old army, keep building new stuff at home. Mostly just militia. Again, the fact that they're called militia is confusing, but it's just because it's what they are in the command card, but they're actually called something else. Let's, um... Let's get groups of, of this. Okay, it'll take some time for them to make their way back, but eventually we bring the Trebs up here to destroy um, this castle so we can kill these generals. Or this general, one or one of them. Second is in the no is in the northern Oh I see it. Thank you. Hey sir. Okay, let's get a monk up there. Appreciate it. That's going to take some time, but we know where it is. We have an army moving up to complete the main objective, or one of the main objectives. Once our Trebs get back, we're going to start moving an army up here to attack with Orange. Keep the pressure on and take that out. And then again, that might end the map, uh, that, or we might have to interact with Burgundy. At which point, we might hit the, you know, the time allotment for the map. But we've, we've experienced a lot of it. And as I've said multiple times, I do feel like... Actually, you know what we're going to do? We could, yeah. we could actually just build a monastery here. It would be faster. Is, is like cool, neat little map events. Right? And that's what we see. That's what we're getting a lot of here. Okay, let's see if we can take this guy out. I don't think we're going to have a problem with the amount of stuff. Oh, never mind. Well, we have more ranged units, and they're kind of bottlenecked here, so I think we're, I think we're solid. I'm just going to let whatever's happening here happen. I wonder if my hero's dead. I mean, he can respawn, I know. Hey, 
for the war effort, right? So they're going to tribute us money. No, my hero's with this group, actually. So he's still alive. We're pushing back red here. You know what? This guy actually is going to make it up here in a reasonable amount of time. The Swiss dogs think they can stand in the path of Burgundy and his allies? Oh, they're mad now. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Feel the unrelenting might of Burgundy. Destroy the Burgundian town center and castle. Kill one more general. Oh, gosh. Alright, come on back to base. Let's get this relic situation worked out. Let's get down here, because we're being attacked down here. I figured that Burgundy would become an issue. That's a neat little place for a relic. I mean, if you want to just walk into the castle, I'm not going to complain. Just go ahead and, and do that. Pick it up. Please. Okay. Then <laughs> drop them off. Here. And then you're going to make your pilgrimage down to drop this off, buddy. Uh-oh. Take this group. We're going to come down here and help. Then we need to take the Trebs and we're going to take this army and we're going to move up here to fight with Orange to kill this general to take Blue and Red both out of the fight. I think is the idea, right? But getting our army into position is the problem. I think I could definitely afford to just start stacking up a ton, ton, ton of... Did he do it? Is he going? There he goes. Okay. Uh, a ton of extra production. Right, but the sooner we can get through there, the better. <clears throat> I guess let's move some villagers up here. Okay, that should be fine. But again, a big part of it is just getting into position in the first place. Okay, and then we're trying to protect our allies here. That's a little spooky, but I think we're okay. So all new stuff, we're going to come down here. And make new militia. And crossbowmen to protect this army. We Killing their bombard cannons, that's going to help immensely, I think. Here we go. All right, we're getting up there. I think we have enough to protect us against this. We're going to grab more Confederation conscripts, something? I'm not really sure. Seven Tidings will now fight at your side. Wow, he made it down there faster than I expected him to. All right, let's let's reorganize down here. Oh yeah, that one guy is doing his thing. Just hang out back here. This is fine. We're not in a rush. We just need to kill the castle. Then we can run in and snipe the guy. Very nice. Alright, go ahead. And we're going to allow Orange to break through and do some stuff too. Ignoring some Civ bonuses. I don't know what the Civ bonuses are because this doesn't tell me what they are. Because it's a different... It's different from the actual menus. I think I could just nail this guy with Trebs. Right. 
Let's see, if, if we can land like an actual shot on him, then just kill him instantly with rocks. Oh no, he moves. I should have known he would move, but still. Dude, he's right there. Can we get him with cross in at least? Nah, he's gonna be a jerk about it. Just auto attack up the little thing. This is gonna be worse than I expected, unfortunately. Get rid of Red's productions. They stop spamming units at us, at least. I'm trying. All right, this is our new production. And we're housed. Okay, that's fine. So say, go ahead. You might get just get lucky. Do you see this? He's a god. It's a new J. Barino age. Oh! I was going to say, again, we might just get lucky. Just get up here and kill this guy. Again, it's unclear if they'll actually leave or, or resign, I should say. Stop. He's done it? Okay, now we have to get to Burgundy. I, I hope these folks actually resign and leave. Now we have to reposition our army again. That's yeah. this is the only hard part about this map now, is constantly moving around. Okay, yeah, let's come on down here. Oh, answering about the relics, got it. This is a good, this is a fun map, and it was fitting for me, because it, again, admittedly, I am not, I'm not super good at this game. I have a general idea of what I'm doing, right? I'm not, I'm not really bad at it, but I have a general sense of what's going on. And uh, yeah, I think I'm doing I think I'm doing okay here, and I don't think the map was like absurdly difficult. Also, I'm kind of given a one size fits all unit that can counter most things, which is just my basic infantry line. So not only did you win by default for having the best uh, the best AOE two DE submission. But it was actually a fun and good map. <laughs> Congratulations. Let's see if these are still hostile to us. They are. Okay. Well, say la vie. I'm not sure what the best way to get to Burgundy is. That's part of the problem. Like, if we just auto-attack, say, towards them, are we going to end up going all the way down in a rest? See, I don't even think we... Yeah, we don't want to go through this middle section. We actually have to come all the way down here. So bring the workers, and we'll set up some production down here. Dude, Geneva's been paying out like crazy. So we didn't even need this. You can transport to Burgundy by water? How dare you even suggest that? You know I'm not going to build transports to do that. I should, I know, but I'm not going to. Also, we have plenty of gold. I don't need to set up trade routes or anything. Truthfully, we just need to get the army into position. I don't think I'm going to need to rebuild the army for any, any reason. Can we... Oh my god, 17,000. Oh, hello. Let's get him down there. Yes, go and scout for me, my loyal minions. This is definitely the direction. 
So once all these units get down here, we even have workers coming up. We'll uh, we'll just go ahead and set up new. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! We'll uh, we'll get set up in this direction. It'll be fine. But it's just getting our units down there. We can build more production kind of in this area, and then we just have to destroy the bombard towers and then get to their. It said castle and ca castle and town center. We're gonna f we should finish this right around an hour, which is perfect. What transport features would you need to make island hopping tolerable and enjoyable? Uh, the one thing that I've thought of that could be interesting is setting up, like, a supply route. Where, like, if I had a transport, and it, it wouldn't be invulnerable, but I could set up, like, a transport system. Like, from here to here. And the transport would just go back and forth automatically. And as, so long as I had units, if I moved units to this location, they would automatically get picked up and dropped off there as the transport goes back and forth. Now, obviously, the transport shouldn't be invulnerable, but the idea is then I could still rally, I could still have a rallying force of units, and I have all my hotkey production at a macro level, and I'm rallying to this location, where then they get automatically picked up and dropped off. That is how island hopping could work, because when the map is large and you have to bring in very large amounts of units, that's when it becomes insufferable to me. I don't mind, you know, taking a small group of units, taking a small group of units and taking them over to complete one small objective. But if you have to, yeah, essentially Nidus Swarms, right? But it's only, you can only build them on edges of water or cliffs or something. Um, and you need, like, a, a vulnerable unit that moves in between them. Um, but as soon as it's, like, a big macro map and you have to be bringing swaths of units and you want to be reinforcing your army, that's when I really dislike it. AoE 2, I tend to be okay with in the sense that what I, what I do is I will bring workers and build production on that side of the water. Yeah, yeah, let our let our allies run in there and take the heat, I guess. Good job, buddy. Just go. I think you'll be fine. Actually, no, just wait. We're not in a rush. Just wait. We're so close. Let's not throw it away. We've got all we got our siege weaponry coming up here now. Oh man. Our uh Trebs went a strange way. We only need one to really make it up here. I think our heavy heavy crossbowmen should help a lot here. Also, I mean keeping keeping their treb alive, even if it's got four HP, it's about to die, but just gotta get up to that. Dude, they're really dug in here, aren't they? Dude, Flemish militia. They should, it should not be called militia. It's 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 beyond militia at this point. Dude, look at that 4 HP catapult thing. Trebuchet. No. Okay, we destroyed their traps. I'm trying hard, man. I'm trying hard to get in there. My other trebuchets died, though. That's that's the worst part here. If those if that if they hadn't died, we'd be fine. But those are not bombard cannons, by the way. So don't don't at me about it. Destroy this gate. Destroy these bombard towers. We're very close. We just need to be able to take out these towers so that we can walk reinforcements in. And then there's the gate. Then our allies should be able to get in, too. Are you even attacking anything? The answer is likely no, unfortunately. Bring him up, bring him up. Here comes Orange, who we are letting in. There we go. All right, move on up. Move on up and I guess attack the cannon tower, and then we just have to destroy these two structures and we're done. But if I... It's just my trebuchets rallied a stupid way, so now... 
Unfortunately, we have to wait for them to move up. I mean, we've effectively won. It's just, it's, it's really time consuming now as we sit and wait for this to kind of finish up. <laughs> it's the classic cleanup. But it's also my fault because I lost my trebs. If we need even one tre And I can't build more castles to build trebuchets closer to the front line as well. But I can build a base in their base. Everyone loves that. Dude, this guy's still alive. What a god. No! I should have known that was going to happen. All right. Dude, okay. Get the... No! 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 <laughs> Damn it. Almost killed their own worker. Oh my god, the range on that keep... Oh, Jesus. Back away. There you go. Okay, you're fine. Move in on top of the treb. This one trebuchet can bring us to victory, I promise you. We have so many units making their way up here. I'm telling you, as soon as this castle goes... Well, and then we have to kill this too, but... Where are they? Come on! <laughs> Man, if I just wouldn't have lost those trebuchets. Stay back, hero. I don't think you've actually died in this whole ordeal. Even though you can respawn now, but... They said it could not be done. They thought Jay Barino would not be able to effectively beat the Age of Empires 2 submission. But Jay Barino is actively beating the Age of Empires 2 submission. I appreciate that it was challenging for me. Perhaps easy for other folks, I don't know. But I, I quite enjoyed this one. It felt like a, a there was a lot of stuff to find, a lot of stuff to interact with. The AI wasn't brain dead. Both my enemies and allies. So overall, great stuff. He's done it. He's done it. Okay, that's one threat down. Oh, no, we're done, because my ally apparently destroyed the TC. This day belongs to us and the Swiss Confederation. Victory at last. Mmm. You'll love to see it. Overwhelmed by the power of the Swiss army, Burgundian and Savoyan forces were scattered in the wind. This was the beginning of the end of Burgundian ambitions in the area. Geneva entered the Swiss Confederation a few years later. Yeah! Look at that! Into Battle, this one was called. Well, thanks for the submission. I appreciate the- I appreciate somebody was willing to throw an Age of Empires 2 submission my way. And not only that, but a good one. That one was really fun. Again, I understand it's all subjective for me. Uh, you know, at like different levels of play, but yeah, this was this this hit the spot. This one was great.